Bottom line, number one question I get and have gotten for 31 years, when someone calls and, and inquires about this like or that like, the number one question they're gonna ask is, hey Ron, how's the top water bite? Every time I'm gonna get that question. Here, Lake Comodero, I've never fished a better lake for top water, and not just top water, big bass on top. Hi folks, I'm Ron Speed Jr. Ron Speed Jr. Adventures. Coming to you live from Lake Comodero, Mexico. Beautiful Lake Comodero, Mexico. Folks, as I said, I got 31 years in this business, but I learned from the pioneer himself, my father, Ron Speed Sr., who started all this Mexico bass fishing flying camps some almost 50 years ago. But it wasn't until 1987, this lake, Lake Comodero, that my father hired me and the tutoring started. Uh, from Lake Commodore. It's probably my favorite lake in the world just because of the picturesque uh, moments that are captured here. Uh, you come in to Mazatlan, beautiful seaside resort, uh, great surf and turf action. Uh, you can go to Lake Picachos, our newest lake, which is only 45 minutes from Mazatlan. Lake El Salto, it's halfway between Mazatlan and here at Lake Comodero. But get ready for some beautiful scenery and some great big bass action. Here you've got year-round warmth, which means you've got a year-round feeding cycle. It's not like our winters back home where they go into a semi-hibernation state and eat, feed just enough to survive each day. No, here they feed year-round. You've got the best forage that you could put in a lake, tilapia, a very high protein bait fish, lots of shad, and little pressure. My father introduced Florida bass to this lake in 1989 and continued stocking it through 1993. In 1997, we caught an 18-pound bass. And we've had a couple of 18s, and that record was even broke. In 2002, a gentleman from Oklahoma caught a 19-pound bass. My father said, they'll grow a world record bass in this lake, I promise you. Just last month, I had two longtime friends and customers come down, and they said, Ron, is the top water bite on? Yes, it's on, Paul. Paul and Jimmy fished four days, all day start to finish, top water. Had over 70 fish on over seven pounds, three 10 pounders, biggest one was 11 pounders. That's what kind of top water, big bass top water action we got here at Commodore. I tell you all day about it, but you really need to come see for yourself. As you know, most people, most bass fish have enjoyed top water, great top water action at some point in their life, whether it's here or or South America for the peacock bass, you know, which is 90% top water. Act. But I'll tell you, there's not a better bass lake, top water bass lake for trophy bass fishing on top than Lake Commodore. I've got three 13s is my three biggest fish in my lifetime. Two of them come off top water in this lake, one come off spinnerbait, this lake. You got some lakes in this world that they just produce numbers. You got some lakes that just produce big fish. Here you got the best of both worlds. Come see it for yourself. It's not just for the diehard fishermen, it's for everybody. You don't have to be a seasoned bass fisherman or skilled bass fisherman to come up here and enjoy it and to, or to catch bass. Uh, I've had more people come here that maybe fished one year in their life and they catch a 10 pound bass. And I've had guys that's fished 40, 50 years before in their life, and they break their all-time personal best. All-time personal best happen weekly here. That's how great this lake is and how many big fish it's got in it. No matter how much we tell you how great this, this lake is, it's still a challenge. Uh, almost every week there's a challenge involved, if you want to make it a challenge. I've got professionals that come down here, Denny Breyer being one of them, Steve Parks, Terry Odom. This guy's been bass fishing 50, 60 years of their life. Uh, and they come down here and they'll find it tough on certain days, but some days they just want a challenge and there's a pattern already established, say spinnerbait or top water, but they want to go to try that 18, 25 foot water a jig. And then it's a big reward when they find it, you know, and, and, and for us true bass fishermen, we like a challenge, you know. It's not always all about just going out there and seeing how many fish I can hammer away, but for the guys that that's all they want to do is go out there and hammer away, you can do it. 
and you can do it. So there's challenges here, but there's a lot of, a uh, lot of reward, a lot of reward here. So we've seen everything upgrade over the years from the drive up here. I remember uh, when it was a six and a half hour drive from Mazatlan because half the ride was, it was all gravel, it wasn't paved. Now it's fully paved all the way, three and a half hours. Uh, we started with uh, 16 foot fiberglass ponga boats back in those days with the old 48 tiller handle uh, motors and tiller handle trolling motors. Today, we've got brand new Express 17 foot bass boat, 60 horsepower, four stroke engines, and the best trolling motor uh, on the market, powerful 80 Minn Kota trollers. Uh, the food, we offer inch and a quarter, best cut ribeyes you'll ever put in your mouth. Uh, biggest shrimp in the world is right here in Mazatlan. It's the shrimp capital of the world. And we have a seafood fest night where you get shrimp, lobster, and uh, of course, you come to Mexico, you gotta get the local cuisine. So we have a Mexican food night. Um, Vans, now today they got these big, nice, beautiful uh, 15 passenger vans. Air conditioned, yes folks, air conditioning. Uh, air conditioned cabins, we, we've just uh, upgraded all our facilities here in the last six months. To sum it up, over the last 30 years, we've seen uh, go from rags to riches, if you will. Uh, everything's been upgraded. From the ride out here, the paved road, the vans, the food, the boats, um, you name it, it's been upgraded. For those who have safety concerns of traveling into foreign countries, particularly third world poverty stricken countries, uh, we have a great track record. My father, 43 years in this business, I have 31. We have great relations with the local people. And we've always put safety number one. My father taught me that from day one, and we have continued to exercise that. Everything else is a distant second. Safety is always number one. We took this same approach uh, when we started 26 years ago in Brazil. Everything is done the right way with your safety number one. Everything else a distant second. Our track history reflects that. I realize I've talked a lot about Mexico because that's where we're coming to you from right now, but you absolutely have to go check out Brazil Peacock Bass with us if you've never done it before. For those of you that have, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's the most unbelievable trip to me in the world uh, as far as adventure. You don't have to actually like bass fishing to enjoy that trip from the nature, the, the eco part of the, the whole trip. And living aboard a five-star floating hotel like the Amazon Otter, the houseboat we use, seeing some of the most remote regions of the Amazon rainforest. You can take off a day, half a day, to go trade with the natives and, and do bird watching or whatever you want to do. But you absolutely will love those giant explosions on top with these big propelled topwaters. It's like somebody dropped a refrigerator from 30 foot out of a tree on top of your top water. That's how much water these fish can move. You know, I've talked about my 31 years experience in this business, but actually in fishing, it goes back 50 years. Uh, when my father put the first cane pole in my hand when I was four years old. Uh, and my father guided, you know, in the summers while he was out of school from, he was a football coach. but. He always made sure my brother and I were either in a dove field or on a lake, in a boat, from the time we were four and five years old, which I think all kids should be started that young, fishing and hunting, introduced. But my experience goes more than 31 years. You know, coming down here as a kid uh, to my father's camps, uh, I've been blessed, been blessed to fish some of the best bodies of water on the face of the planet and, and go to some of the most beautiful countries uh, in the world. I want to give you some of my experience. I want to share that with you. So call us today and come see us. Folks, I can sit here and tell you all day about the great bass fishing on Lake Comodero and how beautiful it is here, but you really can't grasp in words alone. You need to come see me. I'll take you out fishing, you'll see it for yourself. 
I'm Ron Speak Jr., Ron Speak Jr. Adventures, Mexico. I'll see you soon.